Hello, welcome back. Are you ready to work out? It's Wednesday. No equipment, and we'll just start by walking in place. You know the drill. We warm up first. For a basic move, walking in place, knee lift, side step, and kick. Those same exact moves we need to do after we need to work out. Our cool down. And last, we stretch. So, how about some little kicks? Because we're warming up. Nothing too high. Or too fast. So, three basic tips. Tip number one, core tight all the time. Tip number two, never hold your breath. And tip number three, release the tension in your shoulder. Back to walking. So, release the tension in your shoulder. Unclench your fists. Uncurl your toes. It's super simple. <laughs> Core tight and everything else is relaxed. <sighs> Let's do some side steps. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Grandma Game. This is Bo Hippie in Life. I'm a retelling grandma. But morning videos are all about working out. I will leave links in the com uh, in the description box below. If you are interested in checking out any of the selling platforms, we we are. Now let's see. Back to walking. So I am not a professional. I'm a reselling grandma. So any tips or advice I give to you has been given to me by you guys, my viewers. And also, <laughs> I can use any tips, help, and advice I can get, so send it my way. Leave me a comment or send me an email. That link will be in the description box as well. How about some knee lifts? Not too high and core tight. Now, the most important part about our workouts, which is very important, pay attention guys. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. If you're not having fun and enjoying yourself, I truly believe you will not be back. And you just doom yourself to fail in any back to walking. If you're trying to lose weight or be healthy, you're just setting yourself up to fail. You're not having fun and enjoying yourself while you're doing it. So back to walking. We always, always pump our arms back and forth. Never up and down. That's wasted energy. It, it does absolutely nothing for your body. When you pump your arms back and forth, your body is moving like a well-tuned machine. The faster you move your arms, the faster your feet go. I don't know how it works, it just does. So I'm not a professional. I'm a grandma. So if you guys are ready, we're going to get into this workout. Oh, darn it, wrong one. Uh-huh, it's the Xbox. And I always call this stupid thing an Xbox remote. I know it's not a remote. My grandkids are like, Grandma! Get it together. Are you ready? Today is going to be a high calorie burn of a day. For Wednesday, why not? I mean, how bad can it be? <laughs> well, let's find out. High calorie, all muscles in motion. So just walking in place. We always come back to walking in place in between each exercise. Sometimes we get a longer walking interval than the next. Um, and we gradually increase our pace. So we are sweating our butts off and wishing we never hit this one. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Core tight, good posture, pumping your arms back and forth. We're going to start off with some side steps. 
I do my best to let you guys know the next exercise. So, who hot dog? Sometimes I'm concentrating on just breathing and getting through it. That I forget. And I do talk the whole time. I say it all the time. You can mute me. It's okay. You will not hurt or feel bad. <sighs> My husband does it all the time. So I'm used to it. <laughs> Those of you who don't know, Larry is my husband. We have four kids, eight grandkids, and two stars of the show. How about some kids? So we're not going to say anything too loud because they'll know. When you kick, make sure you are literally kicking like you're kicking the ball. Back to walking. We're going to do some kneeling. If ever any of these exercises throughout our workout get to be too much, never sit down. Go back to walking in place until you get your breathing un under control. And you feel that you are ready. Not when I say you're ready. When you are ready. Keep picking those feet up. Nameless are killers. Ay, ay, ay. And back to walking. They start burning immediately. So I am tracking our progress. I try to do it every time. And I'm a newbie, so I forgot to shut the volume down or off. Go figure it off. <laughs> What's so great about your workouts, Grandma James, you're saying? Well, number one, you can do it at home all by yourself. You don't have to worry about two forward and two back. <sighs> Getting up. Getting dressed to go to the gym. Heck no, you can stay in your pajamas. It doesn't even matter if you don't match. Who cares? Nobody's going to see you. If you're so out of breath and you're struggling and you're drenched like I usually am, forget about it. Nobody cares. <laughs> we don't pass judgment here. And most people at the gym don't either, you guys. It's just... A phobia. We have. Did it. Nobody cares. They're worried about what they are doing, not what you're doing. So if you want to belong to a gym, oh my gosh, you do it. You'll love it. Arms. Oh my gosh, that's a good tell you five steps. Five steps with arms. Pull it tight. No cheating. But I truly I am a lazy grandma. I like to get, <laughs> get up in the morning, not worry about getting dressed right away, and have my coffee, do some of my Poshmark work, still in my pajamas, forward and back, and then, and then I start working out in my pajamas 99% of the time. <laughs> and then, oh jeez, tap up the ice. And then, you know, clean up, get dressed for the day, and finish the rest of my work day. Now, if you feel like it, we can turn into these, turn your shoulders. From side to side, just a couple of them. And back to walking. And oh my gosh, you guys. I forgot to turn this thing around. Hold on. This starts to be okay. <coughs> So 
I do not have the air on yet. Windows open. It's gorgeous. The air smells amazing. Potential I mean. So fast feet and core tight. And both hands reach for those feet. Whew. And back to walk into place. Feet nice and wide. Core tight. Deep breaths in and out. Knee lifts. From this wider stance, opposite hand, opposite knee, making sure your hips are not turning in to these movements. Don't hold your breath. Core tight. Doubles. Ooh, I almost forgot. Or my foot wasn't going right. One, two, one. <laughs> Don't give up, guys. And there's Wednesday. <coughs> we need this workout. It's perfect for the middle of the week. Well, we don't need it. But no one ever. And, oh my goodness, back to walking. Deep breaths in and out. Get your breathing under control. <coughs> oh, side steps. Doubles. Keep going. <coughs> and back to walking. You guys, I hope you have a towel. We're going to need it. I already need it. <laughs> water. <sighs> Stop and drink your water anytime you want. Two forward, two back. Concentrate on your breathing. Getting your breathing under control. Stay right here. Hit. Core tight. Good posture. Reach for those feet. Both hands, both feet. I mean, you know what? Not both feet. Not at the same time. Don't do that, you guys. <laughs> Don't try that at home. Maybe in a trampoline park. <laughs> Both hands, opposite foot. <laughs> back to walking in place. <sighs> Forward and back. Deep breath in and out. You guys, I am sweating like crazy already. Stay right here. Back out. Turning into these. Back. 
to walking? Two forward, two back. Oh, you guys, I forgot to tell you, boosting, boost, boost, boost. So, gentle jog, stay right here. Muscle control, you don't want anything moving, bouncing, nothing. As long as you're taking your feet up, elbows close together, boost your kicks. If you're not boosting, make sure you are doing high energy, high impact kicks, keeping our heart rate up. Jogging in place. Deep breath in and out. Core tight. Release the tension in your shoulders. Boosting knee lifts. Jogging in place. Forward and back. <coughs> Down to a walk. <sighs> Towel. <sighs> Water. Put those feet up. Phew. We will be boosting again. Phew. In about, I don't know. Let me think. Let's think how many steps. Doesn't even matter. About half mile. However many steps are a half mile. <sighs> so side steps. I know those muscles are warm. So sit into these. Stepping out. Nice and wide. <sighs> Deep breath in and out. Get your breathing under control from that little boost. Back to walking in place. <clears throat> so you guys, whew. say that thought for the end. Forward, back. Whew. I'm just sure you that breathing. Well, we might as well just talk about it now because I'm going to forget about it. You know me. So I think in September, huh, side steps. Generally, when we do the 100 mile run challenge huh, for soldier suit to stop soldier suicide, it's an awareness. The 100 mile run challenge um, every September. But, yeah, I have previous videos. Check out my playlist. Oh, back to walking. But what I'm thinking is, well, we're going to be doing that anyways. Oops, kicks. So I'm not a professional. I have no idea what's up next. <laughs> Just don't cheat. Of course, I can keep moving. But I think this month, September's challenge, I mean, will be a two-week 
challenge. We were talking about it before. What is that? The Mr. London Fupa challenge? Oh my gosh, can you believe I say that? <laughs> Anyways, so been doing some research on it. And he is so into YouTubers. He was whew, doing his Chewy Challenge, tagging him in it. Yeah, you guys, we're going to do it. Both hands, opposite knee, core tight. Yeah, and since we haven't done a live, live workout videos in so long, maybe we'll, maybe we'll just say, you know what, the butt to the bucket, <laughs> and just do it live. How bad can it be? <laughs> oh, I imagine it's going to be ridiculous. Cray cray. So those are my thoughts. Trying to put work that into <sighs> September morning. Because it's a challenge. So it's something you do on top of your normal routine, right? Yes, that's what I thought. Half out. But I mean, I could be wrong. Let me know. I would love to hear your opinion on it. And Mr. London also says it's not just for women. And it does not matter what your fitness level is. Just don't give up. And that's my motto. It does not matter what your fitness level is. Just don't give up. Chick. We're just trying to be a healthier version of ourselves. I mean, come on. I'm a 51-year-old grandma. Mom of four. <laughs> How easy is it going to be? Not very flipping easy. But I'm going to do it. <sighs> and I hope you're going to do it with me. Whew. So, now that I got my breathing under control, see, that's why we talk. I know, being my luck, another boost will be coming up at any moment. Side step. Recovering. Oh my gosh, yeah, that reminds me. Arms. Just kidding. No, it reminds me. After all those squats yesterday, 90-ish, what was your recovery like? How'd you feel this morning when you got out of bed? Me too. Cannot believe that's walking. Recovery time. The healthier we get, the faster we recover. Arms, push, pull above the head. I know. I forgot. One more. Relax. Nice and wide. Kick back. Oh yeah. Recovery is great. Pull. This is like a chest press. Pull. Press. Pull. And back to walking. Nice back feet. Deep breath in and out. Push that in and out. Tap out. Turning again. Arms. Shoulder level. I don't know if you saw it, but I just dunked myself in the chin. <laughs> and I'm back to walking. <sighs> Arms. Yeah, Larry's going to be like, babe, how come you got a bruise under your chin? I cold cocked myself. 
working out. Get used to it. Forward and back, you guys. Oh, this is a nice breeze. <coughs> I would be using those little handheld fans right now if it wouldn't cause more stink and resistance on my body. <laughs> Always looking for something to complain about. Only when we work out. Stop walking to the face. Okay. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Nice, relaxed fist. Balance and coordination. Shoulders and hips. In perfect alignment. Shoulders and hips. You got shoulder. <laughs> Not one. Back to walking. Arms up and out this time. One, two, three, four. Muscle control. Don't just throw your air, throw your hands in the air and let them drop. We're going to injure ourselves that way. Oops. I feel that couch getting super close to the back of my legs. <laughs> okay, feet nice and wide. Kick back again. Simply lifting your heel behind you. You feel it on the front of your legs, but it is the back of your legs that are doing the work. And back to walking. Ay, ay, ay. I'm drenched. Oh, I fear we're boosting again. That time. You guys are all laughing at me. You're going to do that challenge? Ha 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 Yeah, I know, right? Forward and back. <laughs> and truthfully, you guys, I've gotten in myself into a lot worse challenges than the Poopa challenge. Stay right here. Jogging in place. <sighs> oh yeah. The size, the entertaining, the insanity, workout, um, squat challenge, ab challenge. Yeah, they're all in the playlist. Maybe not all, <sighs> maybe not insanity. <sighs> that was pre-YouTube for me. And back to jogging in place. <sighs> Concentrate on that breathing. Forward and back. You guys. <laughs> you guys. When we are jogging in place, down to walk. <clears throat> Make sure you are planting your feet directly below your hips because we're not propelling ourselves forward. Okay. Back to walking in place for a little bit, I hope. 
Oh, my finger trap. Fish cream jam. <laughs> You're like, no, we can see it's you who cannot see. You're not wearing your glasses. Correct. <laughs> Side steps. No. I was trying to think of something to say. And I had a brain drain. <sighs> now I think I could think about was brain drain. <laughs> Give me a second, pump will come up. Back to walking in place. So I was see I told you it wouldn't take long. So I was informed by one of my viewers. Kicks, core tight, good posture. That I have not done a DIY in a while. And I'm like, that's because everybody's doing Halloween and fall, and I'm still like, uh, colorful. <laughs> not ready for that yet. But, in the spirit of Halloween ish, I brought out a couple of pumpkins that I crochet. <laughs> have all kinds of them. Side tips. So, I mean, the wheels are purring. Trying to figure out what the next DIY will be. Will it be crochet? Or will it be five steps out of your way? <laughs> adding color, more color to the back of my wall, which is really what I wanted to do. Anyway. Now I've gotten the base part of it all in. I just want to fill in the color and plant. I've been buying little shelves. What do you call them? Floating shelves? Yeah, whatever you want. When someone says float, I think root beer float. Not a shelf. Back to walking. Um, but they are white or gray, just plain, neutral. And I'm not sure if I should lean that way and just group them up. Or should I paint them bright? I don't know. Let me know. So that's idea number two for the next DIY. And idea number three, feet nice and wide. I don't know if you have seen them. You may have seen them in some of my videos. Take back. Oh, core tight, you guys. If you sit into these, you ask your leg muscles to work harder. Whew. Um, Bohemian style, uh, book wreath. So, their wreath made up of little Pages of books rolled up like, uh, oh my gosh, what do you call this? Like little scrolls? Yes. Uh, and you have some birds to them, if you would like, or butterflies, or nothing. So that's idea number three. I really need to decorate my mantle. It's generic. And boring. I mean, I think it's been this way ever since Lisa, you guys, truthfully. Stay right here. The only thing I have on them are tap outs, a couple of swung glass vases with black flowers, and my Bohemian elephants, and um, unicorn. It's actually the unicorn of my granddaughter, Alexis's, but it was left here. So I added it into my decor until she comes back for it. And back to walking in place. Phew! Arms up, hold on. Push, pull. Core tight. Relax. Whew. 
You guys are doing great. Okay. Reach for those feet. Back to walking in place. Nice fast feet. You were like, oh my gosh, I thought we were in a cool down. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Side steps. With arms. <clears throat> Never locking our knees or elbows, you guys. When you lock your knees or your elbows, you just injury and you're asking all the wrong muscles to do the work. <coughs> Change position of those arms. Core tight. Breathing into these exercises and back to walking. Whew, deep breath in and out. Feet nice and wide. Yes, allergy season is getting better. Thankful. Very, very thankful for that. Arms up high. Kickbacks. And pull. Fast walking. Oh. Knee lift. You guys are going to have to let me know if you like these longer workouts or if you prefer. I, I, I can't even talk. Tripping over the tongue. <laughs> or do you prefer the short and Sweet workout. Hands to both the hands to your knees. Yeah, let me know. Back to walking in place. Arms up and out again. And relax. You might have sweat running down my forehead. Five step right into doubles. So you can keep your movements small until you get that half of motion figured out. And when you're ready, really sit into these. Step out nice and wide. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> I'm sweating like crazy, you guys. Okay. Back to walking. We'll grab this towel. <laughs> we'll grab this lifeline. Or tight. No cheating. I know you're like, you got all the quiet. I sure did. I was really, really concentrating. Arms. Whew. When you add arms to those kicks, man, you just feel it right straight across the back of those legs.
Relax. Oh my gosh, forward and back. Oh, he's reaching. Ay, ay, ay. He's getting me. <laughs> we, I believe we are, you guys. I'm kidding. I really love this. It's great. <laughs> my body may disagree, but my brain loves it. <laughs> That's because my brain's saying, jog in place. <laughs> my brain's saying, that's because you need to do a cooking video, Grandma. <laughs> Hot dog, I do. I believe, now that we're talking about food, <laughs> my favorite thing. <sighs> that's why I specialize in eating. <laughs> um, I believe on the menu today, tonight for supper, <sighs> grilled steaks, arms, no, not grilled arms and steaks, oh my gosh, don't get mad, opposite hand, opposite foot, grilled steak, <sighs> and a uh, pasta salad of some sort, pasta slad, <sighs> Back to jogging in place. Knee lifts. Oh my goodness. Core tight. Back to jogging. Forward. Back. Right into a walk. Oh, yes. We are now. Can we do a nice long walking interval? We'll go into a cool down walk. Deep breaths in and out. Side step. <sighs> Breathe into this. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two. Back to walking. Deep breaths in and out. Concentrate on your breathing. Forward and back. Anything to not think about how deep we are breathing, how hard we're breathing, while I'm breathing. Get the drenched. Stay right here. Slow our pace just a little bit more. Bending down, grabbing some of that amazing water. Ooh. More side steps. Feels great, right? As you get slower and slower, your body feels better and better. Back to walking. Your body's breathing a sigh of relief. It knows you are in cool down mode and that it is done exercising. And it'll be in its stretch mode very, very soon. The happiest part of your body is day. Stretch mode. How about some knee lifts? Yeah. Same rules apply. Core tight. And good posture. Back to walking. 
Forward. Back. Walking in place. How about some mini kicks? Feet nice and long. We're going to do a few kickbacks. Oh, I love sweat running everywhere. Nice and slow. I know, it's so easy at this point in our cool down to just spike our heart rate back up and get right back into the workout. But, muscle control, slow it down, and allow your body to recover. All right, let's plant those feet. Turn those toes slightly out. Never locking our knees or our elbows. Inhale up, exhale down. Go ahead at your own pace. I'll let you know when we have one more left to do. One more. Inhale up, stretch, 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 exhale down. Turn one direction, get into position, core tight, body weight forward. Breathing into this, whoops, body weight forward, side day. Both hands to your bent side. Eyes forward. I know sometimes it's hard to keep that core tight, but keep telling yourself, bring both hands to your knees, and soon it will become muscle memory. You'll just automatically be in good posture all the time. Eyes to the floor. Other direction. Plant that heel in the floor. Nice wide stance. Core tight. Body weight forward. Never going over your toes. Like your like it's a wall. Can't go any farther. Bring both hands to your bent side. Remember that wall. I used to do my squats against the wall. Bring your hands to your knees facing the wall. So uh, I was doing them properly. Center. One more deep breath in. And exhale down. You guys, don't forget to finish drinking your water. Get something to eat. Whew. Let's see, we have some numbers. Whew. If you still have a rapid heartbeat, you guys, don't sit down. Just keep moving around gently. Maybe walk to the bathroom, wash your face, wash your hands. By then, your heart rate should be pretty close to normal. Okay, today, 141 calories burned, 44 minutes active time, 2.04 miles, 5,307 steps. Yes. As we get stronger and healthier, our numbers get stronger and healthier. 
Phew, you guys, thank you so much for working out with me today. Not for, for working out with me today. Yep, sometimes I trip over my own tongue, but hey, that's the way it is. Grandma doesn't edit, we just, it is what it is. It is what it is. You guys are the best. I hope you have a wonderful day. Oi, oi, hold on, oh, I squeal. Oh, jeepers. Just kidding. No, I'm not just kidding. That was one heck of a boosted workout. What do you think? Look at me. I'm drenched. My face is beet red. My muscles are protesting. Whew. It was great. It was the best. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I'll see you in the next video.